Starting up the stream again if uh, you're ready. I am. Yeah, I'm good to go. Okay. I'm gonna give it a, a couple. Of... Old girl, you know. Who goes there? Egg of a PS4. <laughs> Hello. What? Hello. Oh my god, it's fucking fell off my horse as opposed to jumping off. God damn. Hey, Arthur. That's Matt. Forgot how to say his name. Talking about fucking 2018 interview. <laughs> Uh, going in the I just immediately got mad because I ran into town and fucking just Fox game. Jesus. What happened? Are you cutting out super bad now? <coughs> are you able to hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is good. These Did are all going to start the, this way. I, I heard hello and then just nothing, and then I was like. Hello. Oh, okay, cool. Like that, that I explains, fucking, I explains, guess. That's why you're shitty. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Well, that's good to know. Cause yeah, I just like I was like, oh okay, I guess this is how we're starting this. It's just out. like a fucking broad hello. Uh yeah. Hold on. Oh my okay. god, this fucking shit. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you hear this whole sentence? Yes. Is this like, like it's continuous? It's working? Yeah, there's tiny breaks, okay. but at least it's not like fucking horrid. Okay. Yeah, because I did like the intro again, and I was like, hey, I'm Adam. And then waited. It's like, hello. And I was like, I hate your guts. What the fuck is this shit, dude? And then I was just like, well, I guess Matt forgot how to say his name, so that's Matt. And then you just ignored that, too. And I'm just like, time to burn down the roost. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll start it now, super professionally. Yeah, good, good. Hello, welcome back to Phoenix Roost. I'm Adam. And I'm Matt. We're uh, going to keep going on with our 2018 year in review coverage, tackling a... Uh, PlayStation and Xbox yeah. releases. Uh, a little bit of a note. I'm going to be talking out of her ass on a lot of these games. I haven't played <laughs> many of them. I'm going to be talking about my, out of my ass basically about all of them. So there we go. You just have your impressions of like yeah. some trailers maybe. Yep. <laughs> I've played two of them. <laughs> I think I've played literally none of them, so that that this will work good. Yeah, you you have it. Yeah. Just uh, go off on VR because I have VR and Matt doesn't, so he doesn't even care about these games anyway. Well, maybe you care about them, but I mean, yeah, they're so far off the radar, whatever. If we got inpatient, which uh, my friend, uh, fellow PhD holder Brandon. To say is a revolution. Uh, a revolution uh, to gaming, uh, you say? In gaming and horror. Um, so, Impatient is like a weird spin off of Until Dawn, which is a great horror game, and everybody should play that. It's like a, it's like a really good movie. It's like a pretty entertaining movie, I should say. Um, Impatient takes place in like a mental hospital, uh, like years and years before that game, so there's like minor ties to it, but it's just a VR horror game where you're in a mental hospital. That sounds spooky. Oh, in the time when they like like tortured mental hospitals because humans did that. Maybe Catholics <laughs> are right, man. Maybe we are just full of sin. Yeah, I, I, I mean, think Catholics might be right. Actually, that that sucks when the Catholics are right. Jesus. Well, Christ. they might just be right, right about the full of sin part, but not the whole, you know. That's true. All the rest of it. Yeah, like, never mind. Fuck it. Uh, Moss looks like a cute little PlayStation VR adventure where you overlook. Uh, uh, <laughs> you'll get a little mouse going around doing fun little adventure things, and you try to keep them safe. 
Which I have cute. I have Talk seen that. It looks cute. It like yeah. Yeah, I've heard really good things, but it's really short, and I'm not gonna buy it. Not on sale. Yeah, weren't you saying that's pretty much the way to buy most yeah. VR games is on sale? Yeah. It, yeah. <coughs> That's literally what I was just saying. Fucking don't buy VR stuff unless it's on sale. Most of it is like tech demo stuff still at this point. And like some of it's really cool stuff. But... Yeah, I played a um, flight with you. That was pretty fun. But uh, yeah, like yeah. you were telling me it was like 40 bucks when it started out. And it's like, what the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, and I got it for like five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And then finally, for VR stuff at least, we got a, a new FromSoft game. Bloodborne, not really, they're just Easter eggs, and a lot of people got pissed off, and the president of FromSoft himself actually had to come out and be like, no, this isn't hint that we're working on Bloodborne 2, I'm sorry for getting your helps up, which was pretty fucking funny. Uh, about making people upset, it's fucking the whole world, man. But uh, yeah, they're not saying, it's a weird little game about fairies, like I think you're a fairy, and you're just exploring this, uh, and like fairies in the traditional sense, where they're like kidnapped children. Yeah, like scary fairies. Like scary, but like dark and like, like they're wistful and like will help people out. But like if you're not careful, they'll like fuck you over. Like so that's cool. And it's just that like a classic fairy tales type thing that takes place in an orphanage over a couple of years. And you just yeah, it's just She's a story. Book saying it's a it fairy cool. tale about fairies. It's a fairy tale about fairies. Yeah. yeah. Also, it like the trailer cracks me up. Uh, <laughs> Is, but it's something like I've always wanted to be a fairy, and just like because of the slang, <laughs> that's funny. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, Tetris Effect is VR enabled, I think, and that just looks like a fun take on Tetris. But I'm not paying more than Tetris anymore. Sorry. Yeah, that's the tough thing about Tetris. When I see new, like I saw that too, and was like, damn, that is kind of cool. And I was just like, man, though, it's Tetris. Like, <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, I don't have much more to to get into Tetris about anymore. Like, yeah, and like if I play Tetris, I'll play it for a minute and I'll get into it. But like, it's Tetris, man. Right. I, it's good, but I just puzzle games like that don't hold my attention for long, and I don't. Yep. Like it. Uh, but it looks really cool. Uh, then uh, another quick little game to talk about. Oh no no no! There's one more VR game. Borderlands Two VR. Took out the co-op, so I'll never bother getting it. It's just crazy that there's like a full-on, like, say, high-octane first-person shooter VR game. Like, like I don't know. <laughs> no fucking... Yeah, no co-op, though. That's that's weird as shit. Fucking Borderlands yeah. game. Like... So, like, they can't do it yet. Uh, Star Trek uh, Bridge Commander is co-op, and... That's four people sitting in chairs looking around. Like, Shh. I believe that works. Like, and they do have Eve Valkyrie Warzone, which is a, I think, first person like spaceship shooter that's co-op and a fucking full-on multi. So I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Borderlands 2 without co-op is dope. I don't want to go through all that content alone, even though if it ever gets free or down to like ten bucks, I'll probably check check it out. Yeah, for sure. Hello, Hello. VR. That does sound like fun. Um, and would be the best way to go back to Borderlands 2 if I ever wanted to do that. Uh, but I think that's it for VR stuff. One other, the last PlayStation game I didn't play, but I was interested in playing a lot, and it's like PlayStation exclusive, was A Way Out. Uh, did you hear about that one? Yeah, isn't that the uh, the co-op one? The co-op prison break yeah, one? Yeah, the escape from jail together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just... Uh, yeah, it's weird that we never talked about that game, I don't think. But nope. uh, I would definitely be down to play it sometime. I would too. No, yeah. No, I uh, I yeah. saw it, and then I was interested in it, and then I kind of wasn't. And then I watched a stream of somebody else playing it, and was like, yeah, no, I actually probably would be interested in that, actually. Like, Yeah. I look yeah. Um, there's two big ones, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's talk about, uh, uh, yeah, the quiet one. <laughs> So the quiet man shouldn't exist and is a massive mistake. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Everything I've seen on yeah, it. That game. Yeah. That game had like no 
Yes. You play it as like a deaf person or something. Yeah. Just like that's a neat idea. But did you think about that? What, <laughs> did you think about that? I don't, I don't know if you th thought about that. There's movies about deaf people. They still have music. Right. Oh, okay. Like, do you know how more powerful it would be to have music in that? Like, I don't even know the plot of the game. I'm just making up a situation with a deaf person. But, like, there's somebody they love, and, like, they're trying to have a conversation with them, and they're clearly frustrated. All the sound cuts out, and then it just accentuate, like, how frustrated they are. That's how you use silence to, like, fucking... It's... <laughs> Use soundscapes intelligently. Don't just be like, well, he can't hear anything, so maybe if you need it, the player can hear anything. <laughs> it's not neat. It's fucking stupid. <coughs> right? Yeah, no, for sure. Like, Plus, like I'd be fine if you couldn't hear, like, like, the words people were speaking to you or something. Like, fine. Like, yeah. put, put me that fine. way. Like, yeah, like, but don't, like... There's a difference between the sounds that the character hears. Like, make it so I can't hear what the... But I'm not the character that's gonna have that will like swell and show you know, about emotional gravitas. That's how movies work. That's how movies make you cry is the music. Watch any sad scene in a movie without music, it will make you a lot less sad. Right. Or angry or scared. Like, there's scary scenes, man. Take the music out. Some might be creepy, but like you won't get like. Yeah, like freaked up. out. No, the most jump scares are accompanied by some, like, sharp, like, drop in music and then, like, an explosion of, like, sound, like, to kind of, like, freak out all your senses. Yeah, man, definitely. Just, like, not be a noise. Right. It's like a can. Pans and pans. So I think that's it for all the big releases for PlayStation. Some, uh, new God of War, like, spinoff came out. And, uh, right, right. Something about, like... Eight-legged guy in like a red suit. Yeah, I think it was like uh, fucking what was it, tarantula man or something like that. I thought it was an octopus. Oh, Octo maybe girl. Was. Oh Octo no, that was the girl, Switch yeah. game. Yeah, that was the Switch game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Uh, God of War was fine. I don't know. I lost interest. It's fine. It's a beat 'em up. It's Nordic. It looks good. Bad. Yeah, I mean, I like the the Nordic setting. I like, I, th I like the idea of them taking it that way. I don't know how the kid relationship works with, like, him, but... Great. It's good. Yeah. It's well written. He's invincible, so he can't <coughs> die, which, like, is stupid, but um, simultaneously way better. I'd yeah, than just having somebody better. that just fucking, like, walks around dying all the time, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the thing is for me. God of War didn't really hook me. The combat just kind of... I don't know. The story and everything, the world, all of that was perfect, but... I, I don't know. <laughs> and Spider-Man's fine. It's uh, it's really great that Batman got a fifth game that he couldn't be damned to show up in. Um, it's it's good. It's like a solid 7 out of 10. I'm playing it right now, swinging around the city. I'm enjoying this. I swung around New York the entire time we've been talking. Yeah, no, and that looks fun it's, as shit. Like, I, I did swing around. Uh, I did play a little bit of that at your place. Yeah. And swinging around for sure was like the highlight of that for me. I was like, oh my god, yeah, this is fun as fuck. Like, yeah, uh, honestly, Spider Man has a really sour taste in my mouth right now. So, this it's a god of war. The plot and everything's really good, it looks great. The swinging mechanic is fucking spot on. Uh, combat's really good until they just won't stop shoving it down your throat all at once. And uh, the DLC does that. And I was stupid in position, so I got all the DLC. And I finished the first two, and I'm like a third of the the way through the last one. There's <coughs> neat story bits, characters I don't give a fuck about, and then just combat after combat after combat. You alright, man? Yeah, sorry. A little sick, uh, so I've got the sure shitty coughs. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. Spider-Man, the base game's really good. I can honestly recommend the base game. Uh, by the time you only start to get tired of the combat towards the end of it, and it's not that big of a deal by then, and you're so involved in the story. The story is excellent in this fucking game. I won't spoil it, but it's, like, who the main villain is is just great, and they handle it really well. Oh, that's cool. Maybe better than the movie about him. Um, but the DLC is terrible. Don't get the DLC. Don't, I don't get the DLC. Like, honestly, don't even wait for the complete edition of this game. Wait for the complete edition so that you can buy the base edition for much cheaper. 
Uh, I think that about wraps it up for PlayStation. Is there anything else PlayStation that you want to talk about? Uh, no. I mean, clearly, you went really. all in on PlayStation and Xbox this year. Yeah, it sucks because yeah, they had two big releases. I did buy God of War. I just never got into it. Like, and then yeah, Spider Man was a game I wanted to get, but it was that or Red Dead Redemption Two. And honestly, I was gonna get Red Red Dead Redemption Two. So yeah, I got both. <laughs> I'm go on. But uh, they're both good. Okay, then we'll the system that I don't even own and Matt only recently got, but technically doesn't own either. Right. Yeah, fucking um, Xbox One. Yeah, I bought one for my kid this year for his birthday. Or not for his birthday, for Christmas. And I got Rare Replay for him, so that's cool. I'm going to start playing that pretty yeah. soon. And I got a Super Lucky... Yeah, Super Lucky Tale is pretty fun. Super I actually Lucky played Tales. that with him. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's fun as shit. But neither of those games came out this year, so we won't talk too much about those. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Banjo Kazooie, my favorite game of all time. Um, so I'll save the one I'm most excited to talk about. Actually, I'll just go in reverse order of how I wrote them. Ashen looks like a really weird Dark Souls clone. Uh, yeah. That, like, I mean, like, visually looks weird, but in a good way. Uh, it's like really basic polygons and stuff, if I'm remembering right. And uh, it just looks interesting, uh, Dark Soulsy, a little short from what I've heard, but good. So I don't have an Xbox, so I won't be able to play it for a while anyway. So hopefully by the time I do, it'll be on sale. Yeah, probably will be. Uh, so yeah, State of Decay two sequel to State of Decay. State of Decay is my favorite uh, zombie game I've ever played. It sure. actually captures that feeling of like, okay, we're in like a cabin, like we got to bunker down. Oh shit. That shit's hit the fan. We have to leave. We have to find a new base. You do it. You do that a couple times in the game and like set up a new camp each time getting bigger and bigger. More people you got to take care of. You got to manage food. You got to manage water. You got to manage guns. You got to avoid zombies. You got to build up your base and everything. A little clunky. Uh, some as well as you could. It's a little annoying. Some things are a little silly. Uh, but it was a really fun zombie survival game. Day <coughs> two just uh improves on all that so i'm really excited to try it out state of k is my favorite zombie soon state of k2 would just build on that but i've been hurt before <laughs> and you'll be hurt again um, i yep I, yep <laughs> yeah i will lastly uh the most exciting thing for me on xbox this year was sea of thieves which was apparently like a lack of bare bones release on release yeah just kind of a nothing but, uh, sandbox is from what i hear like yeah it's kind of like red dead online yeah um yeah. except it's getting updates already so i don't know i'm still excited and again i don't have an xbox so when i get it maybe it'll be cheap and full bursting to the brim with content i'm not sure but i've pirates that's a cool setting to me i've always liked pirates for and wanted to do more sure. pirate stuff. yeah no so, for sure it's just like Wild West games, honestly. Like, there's just not yeah. a lot of them, and like, both of them. Like, yeah, super interesting, like era. And the game, That's yeah, like the game that, uh... sounds interesting. I'm gonna end up picking it up on sale because we didn't get John Luke. Fucking obviously, I didn't really want to pay for two fucking online like yearly subscriptions. Yeah. But like, yeah. so we ended up getting them that. But I'll probably end up picking at least a three month one up and picking that game up at some point, so I can just dick around in it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, that was about it for Xbox. I it like I feel like that's like nothing. They yeah. Came out those like uh, maybe I missed something that I'm not privy to. I think to. If Forza, I did, I fucking to. Forza came out like. Yeah. That year. No, I'm saying like, if I didn't miss nothing. Yeah. If I miss nothing, it's fine. Because Forza is nothing. <laughs> Unless you like cars, and then Forza came out. Yeah. You, you could race Walker. cars. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like, well, a Madden game came out. Oh, did it? Wow. I forgot. Shit. Could I? God, Dude, yeah. God, we it. didn't talk back about back. Madden actually in detail. So. How's the new FIFA? <laughs> That's the new Super FIFA, Storm yeah. Two. Where the fuck's Mario Golf? Right. Where's, dude, where's Mario, Mario Madden? Where's a Mario fucking football game? Yeah, dude. 
Uh, it's just like yeah, NFL fun. Blitz. He does like fucking steroids and shit, and like get you know get, get your players real pumped up, break what? a leg. There was. I know there was. I played that one. Oh, okay. What was it called? NFL Blitz. They just fucking like, called. It was NFL Blitz. No, I'm talking about Super Mario Strikers. The, no, that's the that's the, the uh, football in a different way one. Yeah. Dude, I don't think like there a was a Mario football game. No, huh? -uh. There's baseball, tennis, Super Sluggers 2. It wasn't even on the Mario Sports Mix. Weird. Yep. Dude, Jap huh. Japan. That's why Japan makes yes. these games. Like, I give three fucks about football. Nobody does except for America, really. Like. Yeah, yeah that's very true. And I'm an American, and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about it. Like, yeah. Yeah, man. I had two guys come into my store the other day. Quick tangent. Just yeah, let's do it. Madden right now. I mean, we've got a small about, episode uh, on this this fucking Xbox PS4 thing, so let's yeah, let's do it. Let's get pretty tangent pathetic, going. honestly. Yeah, yeah. Quit flaccid boss water break. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. For the boys. For the fucking boys. Yeah, Seahawks and his buddy was just like, oh, I don't give a shit about Seahawks. They're all arguing. I'm just like, I don't give a fuck about football at all when they asked me. And then the guy was like, yeah, see, he doesn't like Seahawks. And I was just like, who's your favorite team? And he said, I don't know, some word. And I was just like, I hate them. <laughs> and he just got mad. And I'm just like, you're all pathetic. And they're just like, you don't like sports, man? And I'm just like, I don't know, man. I don't mind running around on a field, like tossing the ball, like fucking playing all that shit. I don't understand watching other people do it. Nope, I don't either. Like, honestly, it just kind of makes me feel bad, because on the one hand, they get paid a shit ton more money, which, that's fine. Like, I mean, I don't agree that they should get paid that much, but, you know, whatever. You can make more money than me, whatever. But, uh, also, I'm just like, yeah, I'm a fat piece of shit. Right. Literally watching up size. Great. Like, I don't know. So I feel the same way about the Olympics. I'm not saying the Olympics shouldn't exist. I don't give a fuck, though. I think yep. the Olympics should just be like, hey, America won, like, three gold trophies. Isn't that fucking awesome? Like, holy yeah, shit, yeah. And, like, that person and their family, like, they deserve to be super proud and happy with that accomplishment. Yep. I don't give a fuck if you're the best pole vaulter. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Show me where that's going to help you in actual that, life, yeah. and I'll fucking like it. You can, like... You can go down that super sled thing, super fast, more fast than anyone else in the world You're alive the right now. Fastest sledder, yeah. Super neat. That's super neat. That's Guinness Book of World Records for you, buddy. Not my fucking TV though. <laughs> yeah. So PlayStation, <laughs> Xbox, really inspired game conversation. Yeah, they uh. I don't know, neither of them really had a lot of exclusives out this year. Like, Sony did have some better ones than the Xbox. Honestly, oh, yes. though... Spider-Man and God of War, legit, yeah. are, those are our top tier releases. But, like, yeah, like... I don't know. Like, for all the shit-talking Nintendo gets from both the fanboys of both those two consoles, Nintendo had the fucking way more solid lineup of fucking exclusives, so... Like... This one felt hella short. You just want to throw Nintendo in, like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Why, why the fuck not? I guess. Because like, half this list is just basically me being like, "This came out on Switch." Yeah. Okay. So we're getting into Nintendo, boys and girls. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, and it started depressing. Kirby Battle Royale for 3DS. Do you know what that is? <laughs> a bullshit mini game that shouldn't be a real game. Yeah. Like, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a fighting game, but it's not. It's just a mini game collection, and the mini games, there's copies of them. Like, it's the same game, but it's, it's like different circumstances, all different price. Yeah, that's a good way to do that. That's, the, you know, that, that's, that's how they make a solid game in the Kirby franchise. Just fucking make a bunch of mini games. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Nintendo's off to a great start. Uh, next up, all I really want to say is Dragon Quest. It takes Minecraft, puts a story into it, makes it fun. That's it. it came out on Switch. It's available on all systems. Just yeah. pick it up. Get it on sale. I don't give a fuck. Buy it new. Support the series. It's fun. You'll enjoy it if you like Minecraft. Uh, another quick shout out. Part-Time UFO is a How Labs made game for the phone where you're a 
uh, UFO looking for part-time work, moving stuff. What the fuck? Free. What is this? Uh, it's a phone game. It cost a couple of labs. Uh, it's like a real game, so you have to pay for it, but there's no like <laughs> or microtransactions or anything. And it's just a weird little game where like you go around as a go find work, like move these items into my truck, and you have to like use like a weird crane thing. Three ninety nine. That's not bad. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. It looks kind of interesting. I don't know if I'll pick, pick it up. I just wanted to know about it until literally a week ago. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, more Hal Labs stuff. This is a big year for Hal Labs. Holy shit! Uh, with Battle Royale and now Star Allies. Did you play? I'm sorry. Did you play Kirby Star, Star Allies? A little bit. Not not a lot of it, but yeah, I did play a tiny bit of it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't play too much. I probably played more than you based on what you just said. Yeah, but yeah. But still not too much of it. Um, it's just a pretty standard 2D Kirby game. It's really cute, and you can play as a bunch of people. Uh, what's really cool, though, is throughout the year they've added updates uh, with more players from other Kirby games being playable with, like, full movesets and everything. Dude, that's and the exact... In... Sorry, sorry. Hmm. You go on with your thought. But that's the exact reason why I stopped playing the game was I just was waiting for them to, like, update it a bunch because, like... They kept adding yeah. characters to it, and I was like, dude, I want to beat this game, and then have them add the characters, and I'm, like, done with it. So I just, like, stopped. I think they added their last one recently, though, right? Like, No, they just did, yeah. That's what yeah. I was going to say. It all culminated in a whole new mode. The game more fun, apparently, because it remixes levels from the main game, and you have to go through them as, like, specific characters and use their traits to get through specific challenges that, like, That's work cool. better for, like, UDD or Meta Knight or fucking... Taranzana or whatever the fuck the Tarantula name is. But yeah, standard B platformer, follows suit. It's really safe, and, and uh, apparently in like an end of year letter they said something interesting where they're just like, thanks for uh, supporting Kirby Star, allies and all that, and we're excited to start the next phase of Kirby games. Oh, that's cool. Because with the Wii game, Return to Dreamland, that gameplay style went directly triple deluxe and then into planet robo robot and then into this one like they're basically the same game like different levels and stuff but right like, graphically and play wise they're the same so i'm curious if they're gonna finally maybe do like a real 3d kirby game that might be cool yeah that'd be neat um so after that like honestly slightly above mediocre game Detective Pikachu, uh, <laughs> utter failure, wasn't voiced by Danny DeVito. I have nothing else to say about Detective It's insane to me a game like this exists. It looked interesting for half a second, like, when the trailer released. I was like, that might be something, and then I was like, no, it's not. Like, yeah, it's not voiced by Danny DeVito, so, yeah. Yep. Hashtag Danny DeVito for Pikachu. For sure. Um, here's something I can't talk about at all. I don't know if you built any more of them. The Nintendo Labos? No. I do want to... I've been... We've been doing projects with John Luke more and more. And he's been getting more into them. So I, I think I'm going to build a couple of them when he comes next week. Or at least one of them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no. I've only really done the fishing one and the little like weird car one. It's alright. It's it's weird. It's a weird feeling for me. Like I would have maybe been pissed off if I had spent money like on some of these. Because it's just like... It's a fuck ton of money for like mini games that like you have to like yeah then you have to put a shit ton of time into them that's that's the thing is the time it takes to build some of these like some of the suggested like times are two hour hours yeah like it. the robot ones like literally four hours yeah it's yeah that's what i thought fucking ridiculous and it's just like dude fucking fuck it's dude, so hard for me to game. just have four hours of just like time to do anything nowadays yeah. and like that four hours of me building a fucking cardboard robot thing is just like yeah, this might be fun for... And then the, when you play the game, it's just like... At least with the two that I've played so far, they're just tiny mini-games. Like, they're mini-games. So it's yeah. just like, yeah, this is neat. This is kind of neat. Like, what, um... The robot one looks like a bad game to me. <laughs> like, I, Yeah. <laughs> it did look... And I, I was the make. No, I did the... Just awkwardly walk in place... I did the fishing one, and, like, the neatest part of it is it yeah. does, like, legit kind of make it feel like there's a fish on the end of the line when you do it because of the weight. And I was like, yeah, that's neat. And, like, I dicked around with it for, like, a few hours and was like, yep. John Luke was bored of it immediately, so, like, 
there was that, but like, yeah, I played around with it for a little bit, and was just like, yeah, okay, caught all the fish, so, whatever, I guess. Not even fake fishing. Yeah. Yeah, I have no interest in Labo. Uh, I think it's an interesting concept, but sure. I have no faith in it as a series. Where Where's the rest of it? I'm not saying they won't, but like, Nintendo tends to have history of making about it, so... Yeah. It's definitely interesting, and the like, Toy-Con creation kit uh, thing where it like, lets you program your own things, I think it's Ooh, yeah, they gave people that option. Not for me. I don't understand that shit, and I don't want to. But there's some people out there who would get really into that kind of shit, and that's cool. Right. Although again, I haven't seen too much of it. I haven't like sought it out either. But, but like, nothing's been so cool other places. Look at what. No, and I think the coolest like. The shitty thing about it is I feel like Nintendo's using these, like, cool ones just as a way to make more Lavo sets, like, so they can fucking sell them, because they've got, like, the steering wheel was one of them, like, that somebody else mm. created, and Nintendo's just like, yep, there's a steering wheel pack now. Oh, that's gross if they do that. Yeah, dude, and so now, like, they're selling that, and so you can buy, like, the steering, like, the whole steering wheel set and build your own fucking steering wheel yeah. Lavo, and it's just like, you guys are literally just using, like, people as a way to, like... Oh, uh, we don't have any ideas for this Labo yeah. thing, but yeah. you guys might. Like. It's not quite as bad as some of the shit that has gone on last year and in years prior and yeah. into this year, but like, it's still just like. Creativity and just willingness to do crazy shit, and also just like. Especially at. That really soured my like. I was already at like a zero interest. Now I'm just at like that's that's shit. Yeah. shitty. Yeah, a, dude, that'd be great. That's a lot less shitty, but still, it's, I don't know. <laughs> right, like yeah, it's just like okay, like you thieving little bastards. Right. Can't let us emulate your fucking games, but you sure steal an idea from somebody, so that's cool. Like. <laughs> Yeah, cocksuckers. Uh, anyway, quick shout out: Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze came out for Switch, and it's the best platformer ever made, in my opinion. Yep, I, I totally agree with this message. I to fully support it. The Phoenix Roost fully endorses fucking Tropical Freeze as one of the best platformers ever created. I, I stupidly want to pick this dumb game up again, like, and I probably yep. will end up doing so. But, yeah. It'll be on my shelf eventually, I'm sure. Yep. Um, after that, Pocket Rumble. Uh, on my channel, there is a video where you can see my full thoughts. I fucking... So, I don't have that, but I fucking love Pocket Rumble. Like, I actually still play a few rounds every so often of Pocket Rumble. That game, like, I... I I actually got into it because of you. I'd never even heard of it. Looked it up, watched you get yeah. frustrated playing it, and was just like, I want to play this game badly. And then, like, fucking bought it the same night and started just, like, fucking yeah. going through it. And I was just like, oh my god, I fucking love this game. Like, I... <laughs> yeah, man, I just don't understand how that game works. Dude, it's... Yeah, and then the other thing I think that I really like about it is that each character has their own, like, they're, they're legitimately they're unique. unique characters. Like... Each one has their own fucking systems and setups, and, like, they play totally different. Like, if you can master one, you still will have not a feeling for the other, like, fucking, like, ten of them. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, I don't know. The game makes me super happy every time I play it, just because of the way it is. I've seen some high-level play on, like, YouTube and stuff, and, like, it's insane to me some of the shit people can do with these characters, but, like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fantastic game that's super well designed and looks fucking gorgeous. So Honestly, the graphics beautiful. are what made me want to get it. Yeah. It uh, emulates the Neo Geo Pocket look, which is... Yeah, um, but yeah, I just... I don't understand it. I will hopefully understand it someday, at least a bit enough to play through a bit of it. Uh, but yeah, I just... I don't know. My brain or hands or something, that's just a disconnect. Uh, next one, I didn't play this one, but, uh, I want to support this series. Uh, Dylan's Dead Heartbreakers. It's fucking 
an adventure or whatever the hell it was called. It's like uh, Armadillo going around helping Western cities. Talk about not enough Western games. But in this oh, one, shit, it's really dude. weird. It, it adds a... What's up? I didn't even know they made a sequel. Like, or another one, I mean. A third? Is the third one yeah. now? Yeah. Third one, yeah. Uh, this one's nuts because it takes place in, like, a post-apocalypse world. And uh, you go on, like, highway missions where it's, like, races down the highway. So it adds, like, a new type of mode where you, like, have to do, like... Not like Twisted Metal, but, like, that, that kind of combat racing thing. <coughs> and uh, then it also keeps the tower defense mode, which I don't really like tower defense mode, but I don't know. It's a well-made game, and it's like a weird first-person Nintendo title that no one really talks about. Yeah, I'd be down for... Not out from the roost. Hmm. Hollow Knight came out on the Switch, Never. and it's out on everything else. <laughs> Buy it! Yeah, dude, I did play a little bit of Hollow Knight. I did buy it, because it, actually, your suggestion, and played a little bit of it. That game is pimp. I really like it. Yeah, dude, it's beautiful, and gets more beautiful, and it's just a solidly designed Metroidvania. Like, holy fucking shit, it's the most solidly designed Metroidvania i played. Okay. Maybe? Uh, next up, Mario Tennis. This is a weird game that me and all my friends wanted to get, and apparently Matt did get it, but, uh... Me and a buddy of mine kept talking about how bad we wanted to pick it did. And now he's saying that Smash came out, he, there's no reason to buy it, and I don't understand that at all. Doesn't even make any David sense sucks. to me at all. Yeah, but, Dave is just an insane person. Dude, that game is cool and fun. Like, I don't know, I like virtual tennis games for some stupid-ass reason. Like, I have no idea why. But Mario Tennis... Yeah. But I, I dig it. I played a bit of it. Again, it's one of those games I just didn't get super into yet, but, like, I've played a... a a little bit of it. Um, I like that there's a shit ton of DLC characters that are just free, like, coming out for it. Like, there you go, there you go, there's this guy, and it's like, holy shit, like, that's neat as fuck. Like, that's wish they would have... cool pro the DLC. Right? Wish they'd do that with Smash, just release a few Echo Fighters for free. I'm not even getting greedy. Just release yes. some Echo Fighters for free. Like... Oh my god, dude, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it's tennis, you, virtual you tennis. The, the, how are the, like, uh, I know the single-player mode is, like, a bunch of, like, challenges for the most part. Like, how are those? I, I didn't do any of the single-player mode. I honestly just played up, like, a round or two of it, like, just because I was like, ah, I should play oh. this fucking game. Bare yeah, bones, yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bare Bones played this thing so far. But I've been wanting to get into right it. It's another one of those weird ones for me, though, where, like... It's the same thing that kind of happened with Kirby, is like I noticed a bunch of DLC was getting released for it, and they keep announcing it, and I'm like, man, I don't know, maybe I'll start playing it once, like, that's all released, so that I, like, you know, don't miss some characters or something when I'm done with it. Like, I don't know. It, it's right. a weird thought process that I have with these ones, well, but, I yeah. I completely agree, dude. I did the same thing with Kirby. I was like, oh, they're going to be releasing a ton of DLC? I'll just wait. Right. And then like, with a new mode. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Mario Tennis, uh, interesting, I, I, don't, I don't know, it's much better than the Wii U one, which is apparently Bare Bones Garbage, I, I don't know. Yeah, I never uh, played the Wii U one, because it looked like Bare Bones Garbage, so. Yeah, and everyone said that, so yeah. I believe them. Uh, next up, Octopath Traveler, I didn't get a chance to play this yet, but uh, it looks fucking gorgeous, so, so fucking beautiful. gorgeous. And uh, it's got a cool, like, uh, split, eight path story, whoa, by the title. And uh, they all converge, and you, like, I don't know. It just looks really good to me. Really interesting RPG. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as you, and I almost picked it up a couple times, actually, but then other games got in the way. But uh, the only thing that I have heard that's kind of a bummer is that a lot, even though, like, there's the eight paths, that's a lot of the paths are just real bare bones, like, bullshit paths, and none of them really converge too much. Like, all the characters still feel like complete strangers to one another, apparently. Like... You'll just have, like, just random, like, oh, it's the fucking dancer's time to shine now. And, like, none of those characters have anything to really do with her, like, story or, like, get involved with it in really any way. More than just, like, we're here to fight for you. Like. Oh, well, what it is is you, like, pick a story to follow and then you can have that dude join up with the other dude and then just, like, do their, like, stories yeah. together. So, I don't know. I, I personally like all, how that sounds. To me, personally, I don't mind having, like, eight separate stories that you can, like, handle however you want to do them. I, I don't mind having eight separate stories either. I just I wished that, like, I guess what I was hearing from it was just basically, like, they don't really, like, interact too much with the characters. And, like, I don't know. 
I wish that I guess they would. Oh, like there's not like a stronger party dynamic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. I get you. That's uh, that's definitely something they didn't really do back in the day, though. Either. Like, that's true. That is true. So, but I mean, improve the games. Don't 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 use like we're doing a retro inspired game. Like, do right. Better. Right, you don't you have do to just be like, well, now. they didn't have a story back then. Well, okay, well, what do you fucking do? Yeah. Like, yeah, so it's where you draw the line, and I don't think like the stories are bad, luckily. So that that's like the biggest thing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, still interested in picking that up. I will at some point. Also interested in picking up Warrior Wear Gold. Never got the chance. Warrior Wear is a great series. I love every entry I've played. Uh, it looked good. It's a best of for it. So. Yeah, no, I uh, I picked it up and played a little bit of it. Um, it's in my 3DS right now, actually. Uh, yeah, it's the best of Warrior War. Like, if you like Warrior War, you'll love this game. If you don't, then you probably shouldn't pick this game up. Like, yeah. If you don't like Warrior War, uh, drink cyanide. Yeah, you might you be a bad you. person. Either that or you played the fucking DSi downloaded game and you just were like, I don't like oh, this. Yeah. And, like, and just that. <laughs> yeah, then I, then you know what? I'd be like, yeah, here, try to play a different one, man. Like, get over that one because that was garbage. Version. But like, yeah. Or the fucking, if you can get it, play the Wii <laughs> one. The final boss in the Wii game is one of the most fun things I've ever done in a game. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, like, it just makes you do a dance, and, like, the way the, like, thing takes it, like, you have to do the dance as they fucking show you, like, can't, like, half-ass it, and it's just fucking hilarious. Um, after that, hey, everybody, Salt and Sanctuary came out for the Wii. It's a fun Metroidvania Dark Souls-inspired game. Buy it! <laughs> Next, we got, a uh, Super Mario Odyssey, which was a great weekend. Yeah, it was a weird, weird fucking it's game. It's literally just a weekend getaway, dude. It's a just a, it's just a vacation that's over quick, and then you're just like, oh yeah, we did do that. Well, too bad I gotta go to work now, and then you forget all about it, and then you think back, and you're like, oh yeah, those sandy beaches, hm. yep. those were nice. No, it's weird. Uh, it's one of the games I do have done the decision roulette. So this episode also powered by the decision roulette. Um, yeah, every episode is. And it's one well, of those that I'm just like, yeah, I guess I'll grab a couple, like, you know, fucking moons today, and, like, I'll run through and grab a couple, and I'll have a little bit of fun with it, and then I'll be like, yeah, there's not really anything, like, more to this than that, so, I, yeah, I grabbed a couple, I'm good, then, like, pop it back out to play something else, but, yeah, no, the, the game was good through it, and it was weird, it was a weird fucking ride through that game, too, some of the, some of that shit was mm -hmm. just like, what? Like, really? We're gonna fight a fucking dragon, huh? Okay. Yeah, and like the people of New Donk City, but Mario's people, but they and they don't look like Peach either, and Pauline is like a mix. Right. Okay. Like, I... I don't know, it's like Sonic 06 again in that little way. little That little way. Plays a lot better. Actually works. But it's all really easy, and like half of the goals are just like, Get the moon on the hill. Where's the hill? Turn around. It's right behind you. Get on that oh, hill. Right. What's the challenge? Oh, it's a vertical climb up. Oh, like I have to climb? No, no, no. like there's an incline because it's a hill. <laughs> oh, you just walk? Yep. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, I don't know, man. Super Mario Odyssey and like it looks good, <laughs> but I hate it aesthetically. Yeah, no, I do too. It's such a hodgepodge. Like, that food area, that one almost works, but compared to everything else, like, compared to New Donk City, it makes no fucking sense. Yep. And then they had Dark Souls Land? What the fuck was that? And it's only the dragon fight? Why is it even there? Dude, Why have a cool ruined castle that area was that's the just worst. It was fight? just that weird dragon fight, and it's just like, wait, what? Like... Yeah. And they weirdly act like it's an actual world, though, because they're like you can go back there and get like the other like oh, yeah. three or four other stars that are in that stupid. Yeah, there's like, like a joke stars there. Yeah, like, you'll find the rabbit or whatever. Like, oh, sorry. I, I don't know, man. Really weird game. I never. Yeah, like you, I didn't complete it, and I know that like one of the final challenges. It's one of the things they've been doing where Mario games are really easy, and then the very last level or challenge or whatever is like a bitch, which I don't know difficulty curve nintendo follow it like right. i don't know 
I don't know. I will say I love the final cutscene of both Mario and Bowser trying to marry Peach, and Peach was just like, fuck both of you, and then Bowser was just like, it's okay, Mario. You'll get her someday. And yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. Dude, what the fuck? What even is your relationship? Is Mario Kart canon? Is Mario Kart right. canon? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that about wraps up Super Mario Odyssey. I don't really have much else to say. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just weird little thing. Like, it should have been more... It gave it us Bowser and a tux, which was cool. Like, yeah, I like the that wedding fucking... outfits were great. Yeah, yeah that, real quick, the the outfit and hat thing. That's neat. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, um, they added some weird Luigi like stuff to it, DLC wise, yeah, I I this year, that. which I didn't even touch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just I don't know, really weird. It, it's uh, Galaxy and Galaxy Two definitely put it to shame. Sunshine puts it to shame. Sixty. Or puts it to shame. Yeah. Uh, it's better than all the new Super Mario Bros. games, maybe. Oh, maybe? for sure, the new Super Mario Bros. Uh, ones. Yeah, I'd say for sure. Maybe, maybe not the very D. first one on the 3DS or the two. Or, goddamn, just the DS. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, no. I don't know. But uh, yeah, and then the. Uh, uh, 3D Land and World kick the shit out of it, in my opinion. But those are my favorite Mario fucking games. Fucking sure, think. yeah. No, for sure they do. Sunshine does. Galaxy does. Like, honestly, it's a weaker link in the 3D Mario game area. Like, yeah, dude, I think 64 is better, too. And I'm not even, like, one of those big 64 games. Yeah. I think 64 is a fine game. But I think it's better as, like, a historical, like, this is how you do 3D games. Right. I don't know. Super Mario Odyssey Woo! leads right into Luigi's Mansion for 3DS. Why does this exist? I don't understand. Weird they didn't come out on the Switch, honestly. Like, could have just yeah. been another Switch Fucking, game they uh, added. Like, Defend it, Matt. Why is it on 3DS and not Switch? Okay, here we go. The only thing I can think of that it's on the 3DS and not the Switch is because Nintendo has decided they don't quite want to quit on the 3DS yet, and it's the laziest way to extend that system's life just a tiny bit by adding a new game to it. Because they just had to port a fucking game over to it instead of making a whole new game for it. That's the yeah. only reason I think Al it exists. Like, that's why I think it's there. Alternatively, everything you just said, except at the very end there, I can change it to... Uh, they didn't even have to do anything because they already made Luigi's Mansion Dark... They already made Dark right. Mansion. Yep. So all they needed to do was, like, recreate the levels from the first game. So either way, it's a port job or, like, a very small remake. And apparently all they added was boss rematches. Like, that's the big addition, which is cool, but... Eh. Which leads into Nintendo's two biggest games that came out at the very end of the year. At least, I think they're the two biggest games of the year. Other than Tropical Freeze, which is the best platformer. Um, Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee and Pikachu. Yep, pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I've been having Pokemon a lot of fun Plus with wasn't it. worth the money, but I paid for it. Yep, I would pay for it again too. Like I won't lie, like it wasn't worth the money. No, do I still find stupid amounts of joy in the dumb yep. thing? Yeah, like just I looking at it right now, I'm like, just like no. Going I, back, I would yeah, bought it for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not gonna okay, get two of them. Yeah, like, but yeah, if like, I, I was worried for a second, just like uh -oh. fucking mass collect, <laughs> dude. Like Adam, mass, I'm gonna buy ten of one. these fucking like. Go out of the I, store I, and just I, throw I, a paycheck I, into fucking pokeballs. Like, throw them at people in real life. I might get fucked though. If they're just like, here's the grass ball. I'd be like, yeah, I know, I know. Trust me. Maybe I do. Stupidest fucking people in the world. But yeah, sometimes. it's just a remake of Red and Blue, or actually it's a remake of Yellow. In an uh, alternate um, timeline, like a weird alternate well, timeline, like, like alternate future timeline. Yeah. Yeah, like it's in the future of an alternate timeline. Right. <laughs> um, I named my kid my rival Blue, <laughs> and Blue is a character in the game, so that sucked. Really wish they would have warned me. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, blue dude, and blue, just, like, well, just both blue. of them keep popping up. Like, hey, I'm <laughs> blue. <laughs> yeah, dude, and one of them's great, and one of them's a piece of shit. Yeah, it's like, um, blue, I'm the real blue here. Right. 
Oh. Uh, it's a game I need to put more time into. I just, I think I've just burnt the fuck out on Pokemon in general. But uh, uh, yeah, I can see that. Dude, I named mine also... Milans, and I'm just sad about it because like he's the worst rival he's a ever. Dumb moron. And I'm just like every time he pops up, starts talking to me, I'm just like, ah. I'm sorry about this. Like, I didn't mean for this to be what it was. Like, look, it, it's okay, Matt. I know that you don't normally play Pokemon games, so you're just yeah, new yeah, to yeah. it. You didn't know to name that. It's a revolution. Yeah, it's a revolution um, in gaming. Yeah, it took out battles <laughs> and then made you only have to fight some battles. Yeah, it adds to that Pokemon Go shit to it, basically, where, like, yeah, you just, you just catch as many as you can. Like, catch 5,000 Caterpies and then just grind them yeah. up into candy to fucking feed your fucking other Caterpie to make it the best Caterpie in the world and, like, that kind of Weird shit. Weird series. Like, I, like, I don't know. It, it's fine as, like, a sub-series. I'm glad. I hope that it doesn't make it play into the main series, though. Right. Have you beat it yet? Or did you, are you like me and just got lost in some place? I got lost in some place and then Smash came out and I just, like, there we go. That's Smash what I'm doing. Smash came out? Yep, yep. That's Here. Right. Smash uh, Bros. Uh, Smash Bros. Uh, Ultimate. Ultimate, Adam. Mm, like, let's... Yeah. Mm, uh, that's my full review. Yep. Smash Bros. So, uh, watching... Uh, we'll wrap it up with, uh, you know... What we think our best game is. Uh, we're we're going to touch on some remakes because this game was, or this year was nuts for remakes. And uh, we'll also talk about some games that we skipped over. Yep, for sure. No, but really, Smash Ultimate's great, but just, it's not Ultimate. They should have named it that. Yeah, like, it's a what's dumb theirs. fucking name to name really any game. Like, you never live up to that. Yeah, yeah unless it's like literally your last game and you put everything in it and you right. ban people touching it ever again. When Banjo Kazooie's not in your fucking Smash. game, like you don't get a call at Ultimate, so like when Eliza Thornberry isn't in your fucking game, yeah. you don't get a call at fucking Smash Ultimate. You can't play as the Powerpuff Girls, like you can't be <laughs> Goku. Right. Where the fuck's Waluigi? Why isn't every single Pokemon in a Pokeball? Ultimate hmm. No, I did, I did like that there's, like, a spirit mode in there. Like, it's got a lot of content. I'll give it that. It's got way more content than the 3DS and the fucking Wii U versions had. Like, and they don't feel like just padding, like, bullshit. Like, you get collect spirits, which are all pretty How fun little bullshit matches. Hi. How far have you got the main story? Uh, not, not super far. I'm probably, like... You might want to save that padding content, bro. Hilarious. Well, I just mean, in like, mode-wise, I guess is what I mean to say. Like... It's got its classic mode, and then it's got, like, the world of light, and then spirits, which you can just collect. Which I've just been, like, basically doing. Like, I just sit in the spirit board now and just fucking grind out a bunch of spirits. That's weird. That's how I did it, too. Uh, like, David thought that it was weird that I went for the spirit board before the world of light. But yeah, there's uh, two other maps in world of light mode, and also a new game plus for it. A lot Jesus of there. Christ, damn. Yeah, and it has like three endings, and like, yeah, in order to beat it, you gotta get all three. That's so. insane. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we'll wrap this up with that other episode that I already prefaced in my fake ending, because, I mean, of course we're gonna at least say a little bit about Smash, but I mean, what is there to really say, man? It's fucking, it's like, it's Smash. If you like uh, it, you like it, you're gonna get it. They added K roll to it, so that made me fucking super happy. Oh, yeah. Been oh, wanting yeah, that. Dude. yeah, they added yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. Inkling was cool. Simon Belmont yep. was a good addition. Yep. Ridley is an amazing fucking addition. The Echo There's character thing. Like that's neat. Like yeah. I like Daisy Echo in there. Fucking great. Shadow Samus plays they fucking fun as fuck. Yeah. No, they should do more Echoes and give them for free. They want to do this fucking paid DLC thing. That's fine for full characters, and then Echoes should just. Yeah. Be like a pack of echoes for free, or random echo here or there, like free, like. Yeah, man, absolutely. I legitimately want an echo for every character. Like, I don't think that's too unreasonable. No. Dude, but yeah, I just randomly release said. 
Dixie Kong. Boom, Dixie Kong's out. Yeah. Yes, there you go. I also don't think it's unreasonable to expect, like, at least two, like, full-on skin changes either, though. So. No. What do I know? Especially because they have that's... it for some characters, and it's just like, come Yeah, on. that's the issue. Or, like, some characters have two different models, and then it's just like... Right. Their colors... Yeah, and Ike has one that's... Two... It's... Yep. Whatever. I know it's because he's in two different games, and he aged in between them. Fuck you, Fire Emblem fans. I know your series. It's just not my shit. <laughs> Good, though. Uh, so, yeah. Well, uh, I guess we'll just wrap this up then in a couple minutes. Yep, yep. See you guys then.